Welcome back to a new data science interview exercise video. In this interview exercise, we are going to have a data set about countries and we are going to solve some interview questions using the pandas library of Python. You can just watch how I solve the questions or you can create a data set or even without creating the data set, you can try to solve them by yourself. The questions are going to be from easy to hard. I try to cover the topics that can you see in the data analysis and data science interviews. So let's start coding. So let's start by creating the data frame to work with. We will start by importing the pandas, of course. And then I'm going to just make a copy paste like this. We have a data of countries, cost of living index, rent index, groceries index, restaurant price index. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a data frame from this data by saying countries data frame is going to be equal to the pandas data frame and we will give the data. So when I call countries data frame dot head, we are going to see, actually we don't need to say head since we have only five rows. Think it like it represents a sample of a big database. And here it is, our data frame is created successfully. So we are going to ask questions and solve them based on this data set. So we can start with the question one. Calculate the average cost of living across all countries. So for that, we can say something like average cost of living and it can be accurate to the country's data frame. We can select the cost of living index and we can use mean after that. Also, I'm going to write all of the answers in a print statement like I will say print average cost of living is going to be accurate to the average cost of living. We are using an F string and it is 63.6 in our data set. So our code calculates the mean of the cost of living index column, providing the average cost of living across the specified countries. Question number two, find the country with the highest rent index. So for that, we will say country highest rent and it can be countries data frame dot location, countries data frame. Then we will say rent index and we will say that index maximum and we will take the country from here and then i'm going to say print f string again country with the highest rent index and it's going to be country highest rent so it's usa great our code uses the index maximum function to identify the row index where the rent index is maximum then it retrieves the corresponding country using that location, like from here. Great. Question three, calculate the ratio of the average restaurant price index to the average groceries index. So for that, we will say average restaurant price is going to be countries data frame and restaurant price index dot mean. And then we will say something like average groceries is going to be countries data frame and we will say groceries index dot mean and we are going to create something like ratio and it's going to be equal to the average restaurant price divided by average groceries actually i made a typo but it's okay so after that i'm going to say print f string ratio of average restaurant price to average groceries and it's going to be a ratio in here so it is 1.11 great so our code calculates the average restaurant price index and groceries index then computes the ratio question number four create a new column expense category based on the cost of living high if the cost of the living is above 80 medium if it is between 50 and 80 low if it's below 50 so let's start by saying something like define expense category and we will give the cost inside of this and we will say if cost is greater than 80 then return high and else if 50 less than or equal to cost less than or equal to 80 we will say return medium and else we will say return low so we are just going to say something like country's data frame expense category 
is going to be accurate to the country's data frame. Cost of living index dot apply we will apply the function expense category we have. So after that, when I call our data frame, just country's data frame, we are going to see that we now have our expense categories in here. High, medium, high, low and low. So our code defines a function to categorize expenses and applies it to create a new column. Expense category in here. Great. Question 5. Calculate the total cost for each country considering the sum of the cost of living, rent, groceries and restaurant price indices. So I'm going to create a new column from the country's data frame total cost and it's going to be like country's data frame we will take cost of living index and after that we are going to take like rent index we will take groceries index and actually groceries index and then what we are going to do is we are going to take restaurant price index and we are going to take the sum of this and we are going to set the axis as one like this so after that we can just call our data frame again for seeing our new column total cost in here great it's the sum of these values so it worked smoothly here is our code so we can move to the next question question six identify the country with the lowest overall expense category so for that what we are going to say is we will say country lowest expense and it's going to be country's data frame dot location country's data frame expense category dot index minimum and we will take the country but there's a problem which is our expense category is non-numeric like it's just includes some stuff like high medium high low and low so what we are going to do is i'm going to delete this and i'm going to say country's data frame and then i'm going to filter it like country's data frame like i'm going to select the column expense category which is accused to low so after that what we are going to say is i'm just going to call the country lowest expense and we are going to have two since we have two in our data frame and it's brazil and india so from here we can just check this column 75 and we can say india is the answer of this question great question number seven calculate the percentage increase in the cost of living index from the lowest to highest so for that i'm going to say something like at the start minimum cost and it's going to be country's data frame cost of living index dot minimum and for the maximum cost i'm going to say country's data frame cost of living index dot maximum and we are going to set something like percentage increase and it's going to be maximum cost minus minimum cost divided by minimum cost multiplied by 100 so after that we can say something like percentage increase in cost of living index and we can just give percentage increase and we can just add percentage sign in here so it's 233 percent so our code calculates the percentage increase in the cost of living index from the lowest to highest values in the data frame so now question 8 create a new column affordability based on the total cost affordable if the total cost is below 150 moderate if it's between 150 and 200 expensive if it's above 200 so for that i'm going to create something like define affordability category and we will give the cost and we will say if cost is less than 150 return affordable else if 150 less than or equal to cost less than or equal to 200 return moderate and we will say else and it's going to be return expensive 
So now we are going to say countries data frame. I'm going to select it from here for the build team. And we are going to set this like our data frame. Then I will take the total cost from here. I will use dot apply and I will give affordability category function we created. So after that, I'm just going to call our data frame and we are going to see that it's expensive, moderate, expensive, affordable, affordable. Great. So our function is working smoothly. Now question nine, determine the correlation between the cost of living index and the rent index. So for that, I'm going to create something like correlation and it's going to be country's data frame cost of living index and that correlation and we will take the correlation of rent index and then I'm going to print something like correlation between cost of living and rent is then I'm just going to put the correlation in here just like this it's 0 0.93 quite high Remember that correlation takes values between 1 and minus 1, which minus 1 means that strong negative relationship and 1 means strong positive relationship. Okay, great. Question 10. Find the country with the highest combined expenses in the high expense category. So, we will just take this high and high and then we will check the total costs. So, let's do that. I'm going to say something like high expense countries and it's going to be countries data frame and I'm going to say countries data frame expense category and I will say accused high and then I'm going to say country highest expense actually let me correct this high category and it's going to be high expense countries dot location high expense countries total cost dot index maximum and we will take the country from here so after running this we will say print f string country with highest expenses in high category and then we will say country highest expense high category so it's United States of America. Great. So we started by filtering the countries in the high expense category and then identified the one with the highest total cost. So let's do a final question and then we can finish this video. I think it's question 11. So let's say that find the country with the lowest total cost in the low expense category, like the opposite of this. So for that, we will say low expense countries and it's going to be countries data frame and we will say countries data frame expense category is going to be equal to the low and then we will say country lowest cost low category and we will say low expense countries and then we are going to say dot location low expense countries total cost dot index minimum and we will take the country from here and then I'm going to print this like country with lowest total cost in low category. And I will give country lowest cost low category in here. So here it is, it's India. Great. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have a playlist named interview exercises where I have more than 10 interview exercises with their solutions on that playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards or the description of this video. See you in the next video. Have a great day.